friends, welcome back. You know you've got that story folder created now, but you've got to put text inside it. And you, how do you exactly do that? Well, guess what? It's pretty simple. Let me show you how. Okay, now we're inside our story folder. So let's create a text so you can write directly into the story folder. And uh, this will help us get it quickly on the web, quickly into the system, and get you going on your merry way. So inside this window here it says new story folder. This is where your new story folder has been created. You want to click to create a text. Not a text assignment, not a photo request. Click to create a text. So click that button. Up here in the name, it's going to default to the name of the story folder, which is fine. In this case is OS Orlando Magic Bloggers 0402. Uh, the date here is really irrelevant on a text because um, the assembler system will automatically assign a date to it once it exports across. So that date's not necessary. Um, but uh, this is fine as it is. Now next thing you want to do is select your category. And in this case, since I'm writing about the Orlando Magic, I want to click on my three dots here, go down to OS Map Words, click on Sports, and expand that out, define Magic. And I'll click on Magic. This will mean it goes directly into the Sports folder and the Magic folder. You only need a check mark next to the actual category you need and in this case it's the magic if it was college football you'd hit hit the plus sign and select either Gators, Hurricanes, Knights, other Seminoles but in this case we want the Orlando Magic so we're going to have a check mark there and hitting OK to take it there easy that you can fill out a description we already know what it's about we don't have to waste time default shape there's no need to worry about that at this point in time. Now down here it says reporter, it should default to you. In the instance that it does not, just click on the three dots and then find your name on the list. Just like you did in the editor phase when creating the story folder, you just find your name, click the check mark and hit OK. Don't worry about the packages for right now, but just hit OK and watch what happens. Now take a look at that. It takes you directly to the file. You don't need to write in an offline template. You don't have to write in, a, in any other type of Microsoft Word document. You can just write directly here into the system. And this is the preferred way of doing things because it's ultimately it's going to help you out. Uh, it's going to save time for everybody involved from the editing side to the production side to your side so there's no there's no need to there's no need to write this offline go online write it here especially if you're going to be breaking news let's get it up right away let's get into the system so we're going to write our story first before we fill out our headlines or anything write your story let's make sure we have everything everything that we want to say before we we do all the SEO so it's it's, it's a good thing to write all the headlines and SEO titles last so we're just gonna write our uh, a little tease box here about the Orlando magic bloggers let's say the Orlando Sentinel seeks Orlando magic fan bloggers to blog about their favorite team during the NBA playoffs. Send an email to M. Humphrey at OrlandoSentinel.com if you want to be an Orlando Magic fan blogger. I'll put my name in here too, Matt Humphrey at. There you go. This is my breaking news. I'm going to get up on the web. Now, let's go ahead and fill out our headlines now. Now, the SEO title, let's figure out what the key phrase of this post is. And then the key is, we're searching for Orlando Magic fan bloggers. So, I think a good key phrase here would be Orlando Magic bloggers. Colon. Orlando Sentinel seeks Orlando 
magic fan bloggers. Now notice what I did here. I put the colon there. I have my key phrase, which is Orlando Magic Bloggers. That's really what this post is about. And we're, we're seeking Orlando Magic Bloggers. And I have, I have the terms Orlando Magic and Bloggers on the right side of the colon as well. And you can do this, you should be doing this in SEO every time. So say you're doing a post about Tim Tebow uh, or, or a, a breaking news item on Tim Tebow in regards to the NFL draft. Your, your, your SEO phrase would be Tim Tebow NFL Draft. So you would have Tim Tebow NFL Draft. Buffalo Bills pick Tim Tebow ninth in NFL Draft. Boom. You can use the phrase twice. This is what this colon is for. This is what is displayed at the top of the web page of the web browser when you pull up your story online and it's one of the first things that Google sees so it's very important that you take advantage of this and use your key phrase twice once before the colon once after the colon then fill out your SEO description which is generally just the first sentence or two of your post which contains that key phrase Orlando Magic Bloggers so I'm just gonna copy and paste here the first the first sentence of my body, hit paste special. Paste special is important. You want to use that so it keeps it, it doesn't foul the coding. SEO phrase, SEO notes, let's not worry about those for right now. And for our headline, we can just say Orlando seeks. Sentinel seeks magic fan bloggers. Bingo. Now, fill, you know, you see the head deck here? Let's go ahead and fill it out because it gives us another opportunity to use that key phrase, which is Orlando Magic Bloggers. I'm going to say Sentinel seeks, or so I'm going to say Orlando Magic fan bloggers wanted for NBA playoffs. So we got Orlando Magic Bloggers and there again. Use that key phrase as many times as possible in your display type because it'll help Google find your story and that's what you want. Yes, you want it seen on OrlandoSentinel.com but the vast majority of people come to our website through search engines even if they live in Orlando so it's very important that you maximize this. And I'll type my byline in here by Matt Humphrey, Orlando Sentinel. Don't worry about putting the all caps thing after after it. Just put Matt Humphrey, comma Orlando Sentinel. It looks better that way. Let's do it this way. Okay? Get it? Got it? Good. Easy that. So you're ready to save it. Go up here. Hit save public. Bingo. It's saved. And hit exit word. And looky there, you have your story, it's already filed into Newsgate. So the next chapter we will explore how we actually get this on the World Wide Web. Stay tuned. Now wake up, Bianchi, I see a dozing off.